I have programmed my Orion T900 series titrator with a low-level alkalinity method. Let's see what that program looks like. From my home screen, I touch the methods icon to see the methods programmed into my titrator. I touch the pencil icon to view or edit the low alka method. From here, I can see that the method has three parts, the electrode setup, the titrant setup, and the titration setup. First, I'll view the electrode setup. I'm using a pH electrode, a resolution of 0.01 pH units, and the USA buffer group. I touch the back icon to see the edit method screen, and then I'll view the titrant setup. My titrant is sulfuric acid, and I've chosen the option to standardize. But if I don't want to standardize, I would choose concentration input mode equals manual entry. The nominal concentration of the titrant is 0.01 molar, or 0.02 normal H2SO4, and the equivalence point technique will signal the endpoint. There's one endpoint in the standardization, and the result units are molar. The reaction ratio is 2 moles of THAM, or TRIS standard, to 1 mole of H2SO4 titrant. I'll titrate 10 mils of the standard. The titrant predose is 0 mils, the maximum titrant volume is 20 mils, and the process control will be routine. There's a 5 second pre-stir and a fast stir speed. The back icon brings me back to the edit method screen. And lastly, I'll view the titration setup. I'm using the preset endpoint technique and have chosen two endpoints at pH 4.5 and pH 4.2 to comply with standard methods 2320 low level alkalinity procedure. The signal display units are pH, and this is a direct titration with no blank required. My results will be in milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate. The reaction ratio between calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid is 1. The molecular weight of calcium carbonate is 100.09. The sample amount will be a variable volume, generally between 100 and 200 mils. The predose is 0 mils. The max titrant volume is set to 20 mils. A routine process control is used with a 5 second pre-stir, fast stir speed, and manual sample ID to allow me to name my samples. After viewing, I navigate back to the edit method screen and then the method screen. I touch the low alka method to run the titration, which brings me to the titration pre-check screen. This allows me to calibrate the electrode, standardize the titrant, and start the titration, whichever option I choose.